hey guys and welcome back to my channel so this is the finished look of the dress that i posted initially if you have not seen the cutting video i think you should check the previous video before this if you are just seeing this so here is the final look though the the mannequin did not really bring out the normal shape of this but i hope this is manageable so this is what i have after sewing and guys i don't think this is for beginners if you're a beginner you might find some parts um hard and i also want to tell you guys that i don't just know but i feel this dress is too big so my camera couldn't capture everything so i beg your pardon please bear with me our july online class courses is ongoing as well so first of all i'll do my padding i'm doing a separate padding for this dress i don't want to add the pad to the fabric itself because it will fold so you can see i joined the front part separately this is the main fabric and the lining i used the duchess fabric as the lining as well so this is the front part as a front part as you can see i did not add any part to the main fabric i cut out my part separately so this is the back part i have done everything and remember i will turn the armhole of this dress i'll have to turn the armhole so i'll still trim the armhole so back to the pad i'll go ahead and join this part so after joining the pad this is what i have I want the part to be separate. I don't want to add it to the fabric because after sewing, the seam line will not be very smooth. That's why I padded it separately. So I'll go ahead and add hemming gum on this part. I'll add hemming gum on it. Then I'll go ahead and place the main fabric on this and then iron. So after you must have done adding the hemming gum the way you want to, place your tailor's ham under it the breast ball you place it under it and then you go ahead and iron please if you are ironing you need to be very careful so that there will be no fold on the fabric i don't know if you understand if you want to use an already made bra cup for this you can as well use an already made bra cup for this dress but i want to add this type of pad i feel like a ready-made bra cup might be showing the line may be showing on this so i decided to use a normal this is a foam pad this is a foam pad so if you want to use the other pad you can also use it that is the part that has a gum you can also use it that will make it easier you will not have to add a hemming gum to this so you can see how it looks after padding it looks good and i want to extend the wideness of the neck i have also trimmed my armhole so i'll go ahead and place the lining on it and then i will turn the neckline and the armhole I told you guys that I would turn the armhole for this dress because it is a sleeveless dress. So right now, I'll also trim the armhole of the back and I'll extend the neckline. I want the neckline to be wider. So I'll go ahead and turn everything. So after turning, I'll iron. So right now, this is the skirt part. This is the train here is the lining of the for the train you, you guys know that i have already joined the train initially in the initial video so i'll go ahead and join the two lining for the train you know that i cut out two triangular fleet for the train i also cut out lining for the two of them so i have joined and i trimmed the down part so after that i'll go ahead and place the train on this make the joining to be facing each other the join of the lining and the joining on the main fabric should be facing each other so you go ahead and turn the down part and the side of that train it's make it fuller and it will have a neat finishing so here is the skirt part you can see i have shaped my skirt already i shaped it in the previous video and i have ironed you can see my slit and you can see my tail or the train at the back so i'm trying to trim the side of the train so that the front and the back will be equal so right now i'll go ahead and turn the main fabric with the lining you know that i have not opened the slits on the lining so what you are going to do is that first of all you will turn the main fabric inside out like the wrong part of the fabric should be outside you can see it then you go ahead and place 
your lining inside it. The right side of the lining should be facing the right side of the fabric. You can see and the back joining should be facing each other you can see the joining on the at the back so the joining on the main fabric is facing the joining on the lining then you go ahead and pin everything around this is very very important please pin everything round. you can see what i did let me repeat i turned the main skirt inside out then i placed my lining inside it so that the right side of the lining will be facing the right side of the fabric and after that you will go ahead and pin so you can see i'm approaching the slit area i have not opened my slit on the lining this method is way easier for me i prefer doing it this way so i'll go ahead and pin the other side of this skirt and when you reach the slit area you will also pin down on the lining you can see that the lining is inside this fabric so i'll go ahead and take my time and pin all of them around so i'll also add a crino line to this if you are turning i think you should add a crino line to yours it will give it a very full look the finishing will be very very nice so go ahead and add your crino line to the down part so here is the slit area i have not opened the slit on the lining you can see the slit of the fabric is open but there is no slit on the lining so i'll go ahead and arrange then i'll pin this main fabric down on the lining first of all i'll pin the fabric down on the lining i don't want this video to be very long so you can see i have arranged then i'll go ahead and open the slit on the lining so that i'll not make any mistake sometimes if you open your slits before sewing when sewing you will realize that maybe the slits of the lining will be at the right side instead of the left side so in order to avoid that mistake do not open your slit so you can see i have opened my slits right now and i'll go ahead and pin everything down before sewing on my machine so make sure that everything is okay then you go ahead and introduce your crino line this is four inches wide i'll go ahead and sew it down as i'm joining the lining and the main fabric i will be adding my crino line too so you can see um my crin i am done turning the down part of this skirt remember i shaped the lining separately and i shaped the main fabric separately so you go ahead and notch the triangular part of that slit so you can see the inner part of the skirt i'll go ahead and turn this out i'll go ahead and turn it and then i'll iron very very well especially that crinoline part you need to iron it very well so i'll go ahead and turn out if you want you can add um a hard gum around that slit area to make it stronger so here is the upper part i am done as a as a tailor i think many people should know how to turn their shoulder their armhole and all that so i am done joining the front and the back at the shoulder then i'll go ahead and take my body measurements the bust is 40 the waist is 30 so that is it i am done doing that so right now this is what i have after shaping i will go ahead and cut my mark my half length i told you guys that you can make your half length to be lower for this dress if you want you can make the half length to be like lower than your normal half length just for this dress i think it will be better so after trimming that i will go ahead and mark four inches from the center of this of the neckline then i will cut you can see how i cut off the other shoulder you measure four inches from the center from the center of this neckline then you cut off to the arm you can see one part does not have a shoulder right now then i went ahead to turn it uh, first of all i'll open the zipper allowance so that i can turn this rough part that i cut open right now so if you are trimming this it should not reach your not former arm or your normal arm if i turn it out i did not really reach the armhole when i was trimming it off so i'll go ahead and turn 
the i will turn them in i will turn it out and then i will turn those rough areas so i have turned them and you can see how they look so they are very neat right now so here is the sketch part i am done turning i'm done turning and ironing with my lining then the next thing is to add my train i'll still give this a very nice ironing so the next thing i'll do is to add my train to the left side the train should be close to the slit so here is the train i am done turning it with my lining as well and i have ironed so i'll go ahead and gather my train at, at the left side so i am trying to open up the zipper allowance you can go ahead and open up your zipper allowance open for the main fabric and for the lining so that it will be very easy for you then i'll go ahead and gather my train at the left side so i'm done gathering my train at the left side i will go ahead and join the upper part to the skirt part and this is what i have at the end of the day i will still place it on my mannequin so that you guys can see so here is the trimming that i bought a yard of this is 1000 naira. so i'll go ahead and fix the trimming you know i cut out some parts of the shoulder so you go ahead and replace that place you cut at maybe two inches or one inch you go ahead and replace it so i'm just pinning this down before your client fits this i think you should um pin it for now just pin it for now you should fix everything after your clients must have fit the dress fitting for this type of dress is very important so you can see what i'm doing right here i'm just pinning everything down then it should start from that armhole area and then it will cover the joining of that train so that is it guys and after that i'll place it on my mannequin so that you guys can see i have not added my zipper i will add my zipper after my clients must have finished um fitting this dress so that is it guys remember that our july classes registration for our july classes have started so please do not miss this class guys and do not forget to subscribe and click on the like button so that more people can get to see this video also click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will get notified so see you guys oh i forgot to add please follow me on facebook at so with ijoma instagram at so with ijoma telegram at so with ijoma guys please 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 like our facebook page and follow us on instagram see you guys in my next video bye